to show you how to generate computer checks in Dynamics 365 for financials so that you can pay vendors invoices when they're due. So let's take a look at it. This is my home page. To create checks, I'm going to go to the finance area. And I'm going to select a payment journal. I've got a few payment journals. I'm going to use this one here, AP Checks, and we'll create a new journal. So in this journal, I'm going to list all the vendor's invoices that I want to turn into checks. So there's a couple ways to do it. What I'm going to do is go to Suggest Vendor Payments, and this will select all the vendor invoices that are due to be paid today. So here they are. These are all the vendor invoices that are due to be paid today. You can see I've got two different vendors, 40,000 and 50,000. So I'm going to not pay this one here. So I'm going to just select it from the journal and delete it. And then I want to indicate that I'm going to pay these via a computer check as opposed to electronic payment. I'll just select computer check here. So now I've got all the invoices I want to turn into checks. So let's print the checks. And I just want to print one check per vendor. So I'll select this option right here. I don't need to reprint any, so I'll unselect that. And we'll print them to a PDF file so we can take a look at it. So here are the two checks I printed out for these vendors. You can see the remittance advice up here and then the check itself down there. Let's go to the next one. Here's the second one. So here's my journal. This is what it looks like after I printed those checks. I'm satisfied with it. If I needed to, I could void the checks and reprint them. I'm just going to go ahead and post these. So we'll post and print. And this is the posting journal that was created from that transaction. Now let's take a look at a second way to pay vendors invoices. I'm going to go back to the finance area into the payment journals, select again the AP check journal, and this time I'm going to select the vendor and the invoices to pay. So let's go over here. I'm going to pay the vendor, look up the vendor number. Let's pay this one here that we neglected to pay the first time. Then instead of suggest vendor payments, we'll go to apply entries. This allows me to select all the entries that I want to include on this check, and this will include some entries that may not be due right at this point. So here I've got the one that I did not pay. You can see it's past due. It's indicated with a bold red in my system. So I'm going to select this one, and I'll click Set Applies to ID. I'll do that. And here's another invoice. It's not due yet, but I want to include it in this check payment. So I'm going to select the Applies to ID space and click on that button. And this shows me the total check to be $3,515. So I'm going to hit OK. Again, I'm going to select the computer check type. I'm ready to print this check now, so I'll hit Print Checks. I'm going to undo this selection because it's not required. And then I'll print the checks. Here's the result, another check. So if I'm OK with that, I'll just go ahead and post it. So that's two easy ways to put together vendor invoices into a check payment in Dynamics 365 for financials.